Then why do you want to kill me? <laughs> I, I don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, no. No. No, you. You complete me. You're garbage. Who kills for money? Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. They need you right now. But when they don't, they'll cast you out. Like a leper. See, their morals, their code. It's a bad joke. We've dropped at the first sign of trouble. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. So basically, we're, we've got a new brand called Shoe Meat. Um, got it? Thank you. He's a cannibal. Don't worry about him. <laughs> no worries, bro. I want to taste. You want to eat human beings? Yeah. Cut me, cut me. Okay, it. who is this? Who am I eating? This was actually, uh, this was Bob. Oh, Bob. Bob the Builder. Can we try this? Can we? Human it? Well, anyone wants to eat it. Human yeah, donut? Oh, no, no. Let me, let me try to cut it for you. It's not yes, human meat, is it? Read the pamphlet before you take stuff. Yeah, no, I'll try some. I'll try some. Yes, yes, we can. Is that what I think it is? No, it's not. Oh, no. Oh, He's a full on cannibal. Have a look at yours. <laughs> Bob is really good. Thanks, Bob. Mm. That must be his calf. Or his thigh, I reckon. Well, you, eat, you eat non human animals? Yeah. Pigs are basically like a human. Oh, bro, but this is the line, bro. They're like little intelligent, childlike beings that don't want to die. But these humans, they're, they're giving consent. And if God didn't want us to eat humans, why'd he make them out of meat? Great. Your logic is funny. You know, donating there. I'll try some. But do you, you probably eat, do you eat animals like pigs and cows and chickens? Yeah, but that doesn't work. Like, like, so it's more ethical like to kill someone who to eat someone who wanted to be eaten. Because people aren't raised like that, so it's going to be hard for you to get people over the line. But one day they will. So that is repulsive. Shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. But Hashem Rakakwadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High, name is only begotten Son, name of the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to our teachers, the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful licks scattered abroad. This is a video from the brother Amawan Gabar, the elder. It says, um, it says proof these people will, will have no problem reverting to cannibalism when that time come. All right. And this is all, all always happened, you know, in, in times of uh, of chaos and tribulation, you know, in distress. You know, people have resorted to cannibalism when they had no other food to eat. And it's going to happen again. This is Ecclesiastes chapter one, verse nine. The thing that have been is that shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. So this ain't new. OK, this ain't some. Uh, thing that's never happened before. Matter of fact, it's, it, it has happened before, and we're coming into a worse time than ever before in history. And this is why you got to seek your Hawabashim Yahweh Shai and truth and sincerity every day. And as you saw in the post production, uh, you had you had that character, the the Joker. He uh, uh, he Heath, Heath, Heath Ledger's the Joker said these civilized people will eat each other. Okay, and they think that we're crazy now. You know. Uh, they they think that we're the uh the bad guys, but really we're 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 just ahead of the curve, okay? For calling it how we see it, and we see that these people are not stable, you know how they're all drugged up, and eventually they're going to eat each other. This is the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as was never since there was a nation, even to that same time. And so we're coming into a time worse than any time in history. You've had, had bad times in history where cannibalism was, was going on, but this time it's going to be worse than any other time in history. All right. And this is why the Lord put the spirit on us to come out here and, and proclaim these things in the earth to warn you of the times that's coming. OK, because right now it sounds crazy, you know, but these people are going to are, are, are going to eat each other, man. 
All right, and this guy had a put put up a stand as you've seen. You know, you got this woman, you know, who appears to be a Jake. You know, they all, you know, want some of that heel meat. Okay, they all are willing to try some of that heel meat. You know, right now it seems oh like it's uh something light, but this is only going. To, this is a prelude to what's coming. People are going to be eating each other. It says human meat taste test. All right, and people actually walked up there and you know took a taste of that human meat you know wh whether it's actual human meat or not you know people's minds are so far gone that they'll actually try something like this man which is cannibalism this is wicked okay so if they're doing it now scripture says that they do all these things in a green tree how much more in a dry you know now you can turn turn away from from, from, from this and say oh, i'm not eating that you know but people you know nowadays they'll rather eat it anyways you know, that they'll, they'll eat it just because they see it. How much more when, they, when that's the only, you know, option, the only choice they have. There's a good movie to watch called The Road. All right. It's a post-apocalyptic movie. And it shows this father and his son. They went into, into this house. And and, and, and and when they went into the, the basement, the basement was a human pantry. You had people tied up, you know, chained up. And it was missing body parts. Okay. Why? Because they were being eaten. Okay. Okay. The weak, the sick. And the old were in that, uh, you know, that human pantry and it was getting, you know, eaten here, here and there and more than likely had to eat themselves or or, or, or humans as well in order to survive, to to, 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 to keep that meat. You know, ain't, ain't going to be no running fridges, ain't going to be no, no uh, freezers in the days that we are coming into. So with that being said, um, you know, people are, are, are going to get creative. And uh, finding something to eat, okay, things that are not even food. You know, all the animals are going to be gone, okay, or already eaten. So, you know, and and w w whenever you know famine comes, the first thing that goes missing is all the animals, okay. They're, you're not going to see any more cats, dogs, stray cats or dogs running around, any more birds, okay. These animals are going to be gone because they're going to be the first thing on on the menu. Then after that, you know, people are going to start eating each other. It says, at that time shall Michael, which is the archangel, the angel of war, stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. The Lord's going to have to have his holy angels down there to protect his people, the elect. Okay. And, uh, um, you know, just uh, 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 another point in that movie, you know, those, you know, the father and the son, they had to literally run, you know, and he ended up, you know, shooting the guy because they were trying to eat them. All right, this is the time we're coming into. People are going to be trying to eat each other. It ain't going to be just about, oh, let me rob you or or uh, grape you or, uh, you know, take something from you. They're going to be seeking to take you and, 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 and eat you. It says, and there shall be a time of trouble such as was never since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, every thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. So whoever the elect are, they're going to be delivered. OK, they're going to be del delivered from this time. So you don't end up in somebody's plate. All right. Let's grab this. And I ain't going to make this too long. Just a quick one in the spirit. You know, we always got to give you these reminders, you know, of what's coming. You know, that's that's our job where we were set up to tell you what's coming before it comes. Prophesy means to say before. So before this time comes, we are we already telling you. OK, we are, we are already giving you the, 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 the warnings. All right. And this is where the Lord set, 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 set up the men of the Lord to, uh, you know, to warn you of this. OK. It says. um, It says. It's uh, lucky. I, and, I'll, and I'll get right to the point. I'll get right to the point. It says. um. This is um Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse fifty six. It says like as thou hast done unto my chosen, saith the Lord, even so shall the most high do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief. The Lord's going to deliver you people and you people into mischief, as you did desire to deliver us into mischief, as you desire desire to destroy the men of the Lord, where well, you're going to be destroyed. Okay, it says thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, and all thine shall be shall perish with the sword in the field. 
because it's going to be complete Mad Max out here, you know, total violence, you know, and, 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 and your children are going to starve to death, and then you people are going to eat your, your uh, children. It says, they that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh. You people that flee, you know, these cities to run into the mountains, there's not going to be any food out there. So what you're going to do, you're going to end up eating each other, you know, eating your own flesh. It says, and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. So, right, people are going to be eating their own flesh and drinking their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. Okay. It's about to get, you know, completely uh, wicked out here, man. All right. And this is why you, you, you pose a, you know, take this truth, you know, seriously, man. Okay. Because you don't want to get, you know, caught up in somebody's plate on somebody's plate or in somebody's bowl. Okay. Let, let me read this account. It says second Kings chapter six, verse 25. It says, and there was a great famine in Samaria and behold, they besieged it until an ass's head was sold for four score pieces of silver meaning a donkey's head which has no meat on it it was being sold okay it says and the fourth part of a cab of doves dung for five pieces of silver so this is how bad the famine got where people was eating donkey heads and bird poop okay it says and the king and as the king of israel was passing by upon the wall there cried a woman unto him saying help my lord o king and he said if the Lord Yahweh do not help thee, whence shall I help thee? If the Lord can help you, how can I help you? If the, well, if the Lord ain't helping you, how do how, how, how you expect me to help you? It says, out of the barn floor or out of the wine press, because there, no, there, was, there was nothing. There was nothing to eat. There was nothing to drink. You know, there was no wine in the wine press and there was no, you know, cattle in the barn floors. It says, and the king said unto her, what aileth thee? What's the matter? And she answered, this woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat him today and we will eat my son tomorrow. All right. So imagine a period of time where people are going to be so freely eating their own children that, you know, that they're going to be making, you know, uh, 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 deals about it, man. You know, and that's what these women did because they were so hungry. They said, listen, the woman said, I will eat my son today and we'll eat your son tomorrow. OK. And, you know, once you're hungry, you know, if, if, if you're really hungry, then you then you you'll do anything to satisfy that hunger. You know, then after people eat, they come back to their senses. It says, so we boiled my son. This woman actually boiled her son and did eat him and said unto her on the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. And she hath hid her son. That woman hid her son because she had already ate. You know, she has she has snapped back out of it. You know, and she didn't want to eat. She 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 didn't want to eat, eat her son anymore. But that woman that ate her son, you know, she was upset. You know, so she complained about this to the king. This is the times we're coming into, and worse. Okay, you got women out here with all these kids with different dads. Listen, man. You know, you know, especially you independent woman with you know all these kids. You 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 women are going to be eating your own children, man. A lot of you are 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 birthing children just 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 to eat them. That's the sad truth of the matter. You know, a lot of you are going to have taken that karagma because 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 you, you don't want to see your kids starve and they're still going to starve. All right. This is why the Lord set up the prophets and the Lord to come out there and warn you of the time you're coming into so that you can seek him in truth and sincerity in hopes to be del delivered from it. All right. It says, so we boiled my son and did eat him. And I gave her unto him the next day. And I said unto her the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. And she hath hid her son. So this woman hid her son. Okay. She actually hid her son. She didn't want her son to get eaten. It says. Um, and it came to pass when the king heard the words of the woman. That he rent his clothes. And he passed by upon the wall. And the people looked. And behold. He had sackcloth within his flesh. Right. So he was like wow. Like you know. Mind boggled of what, of what he had just heard. But that's how bad it had gotten for Israel. And this is how bad it's going to get again. Okay. The Lord told us to 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 to, uh, to, to, to warn you of this, man. Okay. For the lack of bread. Because because we we see these things already ha taking place in the earth. So it's about to get ugly out here. People are going to be killing each other, stealing, uh, you know, robbing each other. It says, 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe, which means destruction to the world and them that dwell therein. 
for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and so as in their hands, total chaos. Okay, civil wars, class wars. It says, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and of course of their actions shall stand in their power. People are going to be doing whatever they please, you know, whatever they see fit, you know, whatever appeases their flesh. It says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So we're coming into a time of great tribulation. Okay, a lack of bread. You know, ain't gonna be ain't gonna be as food as really readily available for you. You know, in in in, in the near future, man. All right. So did this experiment this guy did of uh you know taste testing human meat. A lot of you people, and really, you eat it. You eat it anyways, because you, you know you go to these restaurants. You all you people still eat your McDonald's, you know your Burger Kings. Well, guess what? They, they, there's human meat in, in, in that food. You know, you you, you eating hot dogs. It's human meat in that stuff, man. That processed food, all that stuff has been processed with all kind of stuff in it. You don't know what you're eating, man. You know, so you 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 you, you really already ate it before in one time or another. It's sad to say, all of us really, you know. So people are going are going to go go the extra mile and start actually eating, you know, meat with faces on it. All right. It ain't got to be processed in these last days. So that's just a real quick one in the spirit, man. I just want to touch on that. I pray it's been edifying to the whole for elect, you know, just a, a sound warning. Scripture says through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. So we're persuading you to get right, repent, seek your help by shim your shy. Or you could be very well on somebody's plate, you know, in somebody's bowl. All right. I praise my edifying to the whole for elect. Shalom, Kwame Sharala, Baba Ball. Double honors to our elders and apostles, great millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole for elect scattered abroad. I'm going uh, to finish playing this video. A uh, new Perfect. brand called Shoe Meat. Um, got it. Thank you. He's a cannibal. Don't worry about him. <laughs> no worries, bro. I want to see. I want to You want to eat human beings? Yeah. Help me, help me. No, no, okay, who is this? Who am I eating? This was actually, uh, this was Bob. Bob, Bob the Builder. Can we try this? Can we fix it? Well, anyone wants to eat it. Human donut. Oh, no, no, no. Let me, let me try to cut it for you. It's not yes, human meat, is it? Read the pamphlet before you take stuff. Oh, no, I'll try some. I don't yes, think I'll eat it. I'll try some. Yes, 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 we can. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> it's the time no, we come it's not. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's a full-on cannibal. Let's have a look at this. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Bob is really good. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. 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 Thank it's like when you go to the grocery store, I went to the grocery store the other day, and you got people that have these little stands uh, set up where, where they're giving out free food and stuff, you know, free uh, uh, free taste tests, you know, somebody, one of the guy asking, you want to try it? No, I'm good, man. And, you know, I don't know what the hell, I don't know where your hands been, I don't know, you know, what the hell that is, but just the fact of the matter, man, you know, I'm going to finish playing it, and I'm going to get a little loud and go back to the plantation. Shalom. First fire, I reckon. Well, you eat, you eat non-human animals? Yeah. Pigs are basically like a human. Oh, bro, but they're just a lion, bro. They're like little intelligent, childlike beings that don't want to die. But these humans, they're, they're giving consent. And if God didn't want us to eat humans, why'd he make them out of meat? True. Your logic is funny. I'll try some. But do you, you probably eat, do you eat animals? Like pigs and cows and chickens? Yeah, but I don't like, So it's more ethical like to kill someone who, to eat someone who wanted to be eaten. Because people aren't raised like that. So it's going to be hard for you to get people over the line, but one day they will. And now a new alternative. It was the 
craziest idea I've ever heard. Human composting in western Washington. This um, glass of soil used to be a cow, not a human, but um, it's a very same process. Cairo 7 goes in-depth on this eco-friendly engine. It is called Recompose, the first business of its kind, and it's set to open in Seattle in 2021. The human composting company is taking shape in Soto.